Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how to say uh, uh, Sound Blaster Live can be turned into a 5.1 digital sound card uh, using things you have around your home. As you can see, it's a standard sound card. Much uh, this uh, this capacitor right here prevents it from operating at its full level. You see it right next to the processor. Uh, so what you really need to do is just bend it and put it off. Uh, wobble this off here, and there we go. Don't panic at this stage. It's uh, it's completely okay. Completely okay. Now uh, what we need to do is locate the second capacitor. Not no, yeah, yes, this one here, and uh, remove that as well. So we're going to take this one off. It's a little bit stiffer than the other one. Nevertheless, yeah, I've done this a thousand times, a thousand times, I tell you. It's uh, quite an easy procedure. Right, next thing you need is this lead. She's just a normal lead. You can buy it at a lead store. It's just a lead. And it acts as an aerial. So you can pick up the radio as well. And that just goes on just goes on um just goes on there I'll just leave it like that as you can see it looks very antennae like very much like an antennae yeah how do we see right let's move on to the next step right this is where we uh we sort out the rest of the the um the rest of the capacitors and we do this uh quite simply by adding brown sauce that's right, brown sauce, eh, liberal dollops. And uh, what this does is it it uh, takes the interference away from the board. As you can see, I put a dollop on top of the aerial. And the aerial then it will enhance the signal and will get uh, better radio uh, refrequencies. And by adding salt to the uh, to the processor of it, um, it has to be a uh, fine sea salt uh, for cooking and grinding. What we do is uh, we apply what's called fish frequency, and uh, it amplifies the the sounds. Now this next step here, we take an old an old modem with the back plate removed, and uh, what we do is we uh, hold it into position, uh, hold it over the top, and uh, firmly sandwich it down. Oh, the aerials fell! Oh shit! The aerials fell down. Never mind. It's just an aerial. Put that back up. There we go. A bit of sauce has come off it. Never mind. Okay. So what we're now going to need next is uh, uh, hair gel. Hair gel is a uh, conductive, as we all know, just like a uh, electro electro conductive uh, gel. So and this runs along the back. Oh yes, wet gel needs to be wet gel, strong wet gel. Uh, and uh, we take um, the capacitor. Put it over one side, take the other capacitor, place it over the same side. No, not the same side, the other side. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, aerials fell off again. Put that back on there. Um, oh, perfect, it's touched the other gel. That'll mean a great connection. I never thought of that before. Right, so uh, here we go. We just give these a wobble. You can see now they're firmly in, connected to the uh, to the gel. Okay, next step, toilet roll. Take off four sheets. Give it a little tug. You can tell I'm a man because I'm uh, excellent at getting uh, toilet paper off the roll with one hand. <laughs> Just a little joke there. Uh, fold it carefully, four sheets, place it over it, give it a pat down. And we're nearly there now, that'll soak up some of the liquid. Now all we need is uh, an approved sheet which tells you that clearly I'm a fruity loop yes I have an IQ of 48 and what are some people call mentally retarded okay so here's the finished product just pass this to the cat here we go here we go Let's see what he makes of this there you go Arnie what do you think of that hmm? It's fucking shite! It's fucking shite! I don't think the cat's very impressed. 
Um, what do you think, Vitani? Is it me? Yes, it is. You like it? <laughs>